uh, elaborate as much as you can. Okay. It's not like rapid fire, you can take time to think yeah. and do whatever you want. Alright? Alright. Alright, introduce yourself. Uh, Josh Kelty, the uh, coach of the Georgetown Royals. Hi, I'm Bob McKenna, uh, assistant coach. Uh, three years, uh, missed the COVID year. Uh, I'm Coach Pripp. <laughs> uh, describe Kelty. Oh man, uh, Kelty's unbelievable, man. He's just such a passionate dude. He puts his life and all his energy into hoops, man. And uh, <sighs> passion, if I had one word, it's passion. He lives it, breathes it. He watches film all night. Kid doesn't sleep. It's um, it's infectious, to be honest with you, man. He brings so much, and his love of it is just so outward that you like you follow, or you you're just gonna get away. My coaching style, um, I'd I'd say it's it's intense. You know, passionate. You know, I coach the way I feel like the game should be played. Right, so I believe in hard work, effort, um, toughness, defense, um, being unselfish, um, and I think that my style kind of just, uh, I just want my teams to play really, really hard and to play really, really unselfish and to really uh, care about each other. Um, Everything though is built on on relationships. So you know, like if there's one thing, like it's not, you know, the better relationships that these kids have with each other that we have with our team, the harder we play for each other, the more connected we are, and the better we, the better chemistry we have. So everything is driven through the relationships we have with each other. basketball is all about the atmosphere, right? These kids aren't going to remember what I said at halftime, what I said pregame, they're not going to remember what we did in practice, but they're going to remember those moments when they walked into these gyms and the place was packed. They're going to remember playing in front of their family and friends, walking out of those tunnels. And that's, to go back to your earlier question, that's what it is about the experience, right? That's what makes it special. You know, we had that year during COVID, it was terrible, there's no fans. Like, it, it bring, it's the, fans are the heart of this whole thing, right? And that's why, like, I'll never forget as a player, playing in this gym, banged out, packed. And the year after, like, you play, you play in, like, men's leagues, or it's, just, it's never the same. It's never the same when you're able to represent your town, your school, your family, your friends, everybody's watching. It is, it is such a unique um, situation, and the fans are so, so important to our success, and we have unbelievable fans, unbelievable. Right, and I love that our gym is small. I love that you know, three two three hundred people in there. It feels like two three thousand. It, it's really something. And, and again, that's what makes Georgetown so special is that the kids come out, they care about their teams, they care about their community, right? And they um they really do a great job of supporting each other. Hey guys, we're at the Georgetown Royals basketball game versus Amesbury. The score is currently twenty six. This is my boyfriend. That's 36 to 23. And we're having a good time right now. We're screaming, we're loud. Blue crew, baby. Blue crew, day one. All right, so just make sure that we are matching the energy that's in the crowd. All right? <laughs>
living. I am just an icon living. Living. I, I, icon living. I am just an icon living. Living. I am just an icon living. Um, thought the guys did go in there and they, they provided value. I really did. Um, but times played well, looked really good. Other times, not good. Okay, and I get that that's going to happen. I get that like that's part of the growth and all that. But um, how many turnovers? Nineteen. Nineteen turnovers. Eight. Okay. Two men. Two men. All, all right. right. Two men. Huh? How many? Oh, not right now. I thought you were playing the jazz. Hey, and nothing to say. Thought you played well. Thought you played well. And frankly, when you get the ball in your hand, how many times you're prone to more turnovers? But regardless, fellas, okay. Home home opener. Got a win. Thought at times we looked really good. Thought we moved the ball better than we have in the past. Thought we were unselfish. Got to clean up the defense, obviously. But um, you know, we'll we'll take that. Um. Oh man, man. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, 10 a.m.? Just, yeah, 10 a.m. Uh, no, 9 a.m., right? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Sunday. All right, keep an eye out for everything. Maybe we'll do film, so I'll just I'll text you when we get to All right, boys. Good work. Good work. Alright, let's go. I can tell you. I 
I can thank you guys for a couple more great hairs out there. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting too old That's for this guy. Serious. 3 30 tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. What was it like for that Wilmington game? Like, walk us through that game. That was crazy. I mean, I hit that first three, and the crowd went crazy, and I hit the second three, and I just went fucking nuts. Hit another layup. Don't really care, so I was just having a great game. It felt great. Good coming off the bench and getting that atmosphere from the crowd. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good game. Thank you. You're welcome. game plan going into the first Manchester I-16? Uh, so those games, man, I mean, we, listen, we know them really well. They know us really well. That game is always an absolute war. I mean, it's a rivalry game. The biggest thing with that was we had so many guys that hadn't really experienced that type of game yet that I was just trying to, we were just trying to, and I remember talking to Grant, Corey, Kyle about that game, and it's like, you know, we got it. These guys got to understand the physicality of it. You know how you gotta play every play, how you gotta defend every play, and uh, and the type of crowd, and, and it was more so about getting them for the environment for that. You know, um, I thought that game though, guys really stepped up. Like I, I remember Jackson, I thought he played tremendous that game. Grant obviously was great. Um, some of our young sophomores, really, you know, made some big shots. Kyle played huge minutes that game, so I was actually very happy. That was probably, up until that point, our best played game of the year. So even though we lost that game, I remember sitting in that locker room, and I was pretty, you know, I was proud of them, man. They fought like heck, and uh, it just didn't go our way that night. All right, boys. Hey, listen up, man. Listen up. Listen up. For real. Okay. Listen, I know we put a lot in this game, bro. I know, I know. But I'm going to tell you something. You guys battled your balls off. All right, you did. You did. I am I'm really proud of the way you fought. You really did. All right. I thought you guys executed pretty good in that zone. I thought we got great shots. Okay? Um, I guess, you know, just, just a couple key stops there we couldn't get. But you know what? Uh, and frankly, I should have started the game, uh, you know, now we know next time. All right, now we know. But, uh, listen, I got nothing to listen to. That's all I ask. That's all the seniors ask. You come in here, you fight, you battle, you know, we're down 10, we're down 7, all right, you the you know, we're right there, right there. So, lots of build on boys. Listen, to be honest, you can't sit here and feel sorry for yourself if you want. You got him again? All right, well, we can't do great for Monday, son. Do great for Monday. All right, that place is at a whole nother challenge, so. 
We'll watch the film. You guys watch the film. We'll get better, okay? And uh, we'll be ready to do it. But yo, let me tell you, this team's trending in the right direction. It's trending in the right direction. It really is. So guys, we gotta just see that and believe that we have a ton of seeds in life. All right, we're gonna be just fine. All right, I'm proud of you guys. Hey. Let me three, one, two, three. Uh, Carter, how, how are you feeling after that uh, that Newburyport W? <laughs> Sneeko likes that W. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, dude, that is a big time, That is a good ass win right there. All right. Battle, okay. Had a lead, extended it, kept it. Fought through some adversity. Thought on. Uh, you guys did a great job on 13. What do you have? One bank three? Two threes. Yeah, two threes. Two yeah. threes, yeah. dude. Yeah. The yeah. The bank. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, battled. I thought defensively. Uh, I thought defensively we were solid. We were trying. All right. It looked, yo, frankly, it looked like we. You just cutted it out, man. You cutted it out. All right. That's what we're talking about. Guys, play big minutes. All right. I'm really proud of you. Coming in here on an afternoon. All right. Getting that win against that team. It's the top place in that in the Calvary. Huge way to bounce back, folks. Huge way to bounce back. Right? Over 10 points. Proud of you guys. Really proud of you guys. Fought like hell. Fought like hell to get that done. All right. Now. See what you guys going to do. Hey. It's, it's, it's historic. When's the last time we beat them here? Yeah. I've never, been, I've never won here. More than six years. All right. That's awesome. Listen, all right. Good job. We're off tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Come on, guys. We're off. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Enjoy that. Okay. Right. Hey, let me tell you something, fellas. Hey, we got to just keep getting better. We got to keep getting better. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. That shit doesn't happen for no reason. In my opinion, yesterday's practice is one of the best of the year. So that just shows, bro. Come back. Let's go. Let's hey, we got three. One, two, three. Family. <laughs> nah, you can't. Nah, nah. Nah, don't worry about it. That's a delete. Kid Elijah can put us to sleep if you want. Put us to sleep. How long is that? Are you actually going to be talking? How long? It's 35 minutes right now. Right now? Yeah. Yo, wait, you know, you can move his wife. Who's 35 minutes of what? Early your dreams for me. Everything. I've been counted out so many times I couldn't count it. Funny how now my accountant is having trouble trying to count it To the people that think that I owe you Payback's a boom, you know that Got to be getting too old for this Please don't get nobody notices I've been up for way too many days Y'all sleeping up for me anyway Y'all don't be doing it anyway Y'all are not true to this anyway OVO, e saying wraps up We might just get here with Dorico Everyone home for the summer So let's not do nothing illegal I gon' make 50 million and I give some millions to my people